Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Cheer Hub. It's Isabella and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how tolls work for Uber and Lyft drivers. This is a question that so many drivers have when they have to drive through tolls while they're on the job. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how all of this works if you're a new driver and you just wanna know. Anyways, before we get started in the video, if you haven't heard of Driverly, it's this awesome website you can subscribe to be a member to. Basically, Driverly has a bunch of different features and services like helping with tax preparation for rideshare and delivery drivers. Also, they can help you get your account reactivated if your account happens to get banned, so be sure to check that out. We have a link down below in the description. So, how do tolls work for Uber and Lyft drivers? This is for Lyft. If you pass through a toll during a ride, being a Lyft driver, the cost of the toll is actually automatically added to the passenger's ride fare. Basically, you'll just pay the toll up front and then you get reimbursed for the toll within your ride earnings. The only problem with this is that some tolls aren't actually eligible for reimbursement. These are the types of tolls that you aren't eligible for for reimbursement. So if there's an optional express or HOV lane that will not be reimbursed to you because it is optional. If there are tolls before you tap arrive, those are not eligible either. Also, any tolls you have to go through after you drop off a passenger, you will not get reimbursed for. So this is just something good to keep in mind, but for the most part, you will be reimbursed. Also, this is important to note, if your passenger offers to give you cash to pay for the toll, you need to decline this. Because the ride price already includes the cost of the toll, you will just be taking their money and it's not, like you're just not meant to do that. Also, the use of cash for tolls is actually against Lyft's terms of service, so you could potentially get deactivated for this if they were to find out. And if you think there's a problem with your toll reimbursement, you can actually request a toll review. Basically, you just go on the app, go to the menu and press help, and then under your last ride, you can press get help, um, with this ride where you can see other rides basically you just pick the ride where you had the, the toll and then select toll payment or reimbursement from there you can review and basically request any problem you had with the toll and they will be able to help you uber works exactly the same way the toll is already added to the passenger's ride fare they also recommend mounting an e-pass in your car so that it can help you move through tolls a little bit faster and yeah the tolls are charged to the riders and they are refunded to you as detailed to you on your earnings tab and you can go in view the fare for any specific trip you go to your trip history in the driver app and basically just tap see daily summary they actually have a form you can fill out if you believe that the trip fare didn't include the toll amount or there was something wrong with it. Similar to Lyft, you can kind of appeal that or like ask them about any problems that you're having with it and they'll be able to review that and adjust it for you. It's good to know, I think this makes it a lot easier for drivers. You know, it's something you don't really have to worry about too much because it's already added to the passenger's fare. So if you were worried about tolls or wondering about tolls for as an Uber or Lyft driver, now you know. Leave a comment down below if I missed anything or if you have any other video ideas that you want to see. Um, anyways, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.